Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Politically Correct Ghana Lesson 218. And today's discussion is titled, When Democracy Ceases to be Democracy Before the Eyes of the Learned Ghanaians in the West. When Democracy Ceases to be Democracy Before the Eyes of the Learned Ghanaians in the West. And um, today being the 2nd of March, 2024, um, we have a serious discussions to do. And it, it's not serious, but it is one of those discussions that um, it's all over Ghana, I would say. That's the anti-LGBTQIII++++ bill. The anti-gay bill. Some call it hate bill. Um, why is there so much divide on this? Uh, apparently, I would have thought, I would have thought that the bill has a people's representation or it is a people's representation in that it was in parliament initiated from a group of people taken to parliament through their representatives in parliament and parliament debated it forth and back, forth and back, and three hearings before it was what, approved by the people's representation, that is parliament, and that's democracy. Due process was followed, and the bill is now before the president to sign. Then all of a sudden, the hate, the hate bill proponents, in the presence of uh, Professor Odrigajepo and Professor Menu, the Chihuahua Menu and Co, a lot of professors and doctors, all are against, they are strongly against it. And I'm asking, why are these highly intellectuals when this debate was going on in parliament? If they live in communities, they should have channeled their grievances through their MPs. And when that was done, or if that was done, if it wasn't done, then the highly intellectual folks in the Ghanaian community made a mistake. So Professor Odrigajeko and Professor Tichiwa Menua, you may, Menu, you may have made a mistake. You didn't go through your parliamentarians. If you did, then during voting, the parliamentary voting, it states clearly that majority of them were against LGBT. QII plus plus plus. I don't know what plus it is. But that is what the people say. And you now have decided to go to court. You could go to court. I mean, there's nothing wrong. You can go to court. It's your right. However, take note. If majority of the people, through their members of parliament, their representatives in parliament, say they don't want something in their society and they think it is not culturally right because they call that bill human sexuality and Ghanaian family values, Listen to the title, Human Sexuality and Ghanaian Family Values. If they say they don't want that, it's not part of their value systems. You few, learned people, professors and doctors, how many are you? You cannot overturn that bill. You cannot overturn that law. Try hard as you can because the practicality of it is what we have seen. They went through due process democratic due process so it has to be respected so you in democracy we agree to disagree and sometimes we disagree to agree when there's a majority vote we disagree to agree because majority have voted in favor of the bill so we should respect the bill as it is and plead with not plead but ensure that the president nanado nana president signs that bill into law as to what the West, U.S. is saying that they will place sanctions and all those. We don't care because they don't even understand democracy anymore. The West is lost as to what democracy is. Neoliberals have stated that democracy, when it's exported to other countries, must be contextualized. And so America should take note. In this contextualization, Ghana says they don't want this LGBTQ++ stuff. Let us respect it and let's learn to live together. Live and let's live. Either than that, there will always be conflicts. And U.S. likes such conflicts. That way, they can use the conflict to exploit the resources of African countries. The name is H. Kwame Afaglo. Professor Techua Menu and then Audrey Gajipo and other professors. Take note. This process 
has been followed through the democratic system and has been approved. So let us learn to respect the people's views and their cultural values. Let us not be seen as an appendage, appendage of the West. Let us not be seen that when you become so highly educated with titles as PhDs and then professors, you become an appendage of the West when you are a Ghanaian. They don't want you in the West and you are infuriating your people and they also don't want you. You'll find nowhere, no place to rest. Thank you.